What's up everyone and welcome to Will It Shark, the video series where I try out guitar related pieces of gear and see how long it takes for me to make it chug. If you've never heard a chug before, it's this. And the recent addition to Will It Chug is the new chug meter. The chug meter will define if a piece of gear would chug or not. So very interesting, it's not up to me now, it's up to the chug meter. And if you check the meter, it starts with clean. You got rock over here, metal. Metal is still cool, but this is where you want to be. It chugs, okay? And today I'm trying out this. This is a Strandberg Bowden Original NX6. And they've had these before in charcoal black, but this is a new one with a flame maple top, as you can see. It has a swamp ash body, maple neck, bird's eye maple fretboard right there. Jess car stainless steel frets. You got Sur pickups and something I truly enjoy when you get a Strandberg guitar and that is the Strandberg hardware. You have the Strandberg bridge and then you have these uh, the volume and the tone knob. They're Strandberg branded, which is really cool. And you have the you know the nut right there being Strandberg hardware. And this particular guitar also has the Endurnik also a Strandberg innovation. A lot of headless people, <laughs> no, a lot of Strandberg people got really jealous when I made a Willow Chug for the Ibanez Quest a couple weeks ago. And you know, I really did make it chug. So people are like, oh shit, but what about Strandberg? Is a Strandberg gonna chug? <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Will a Strandberg headless chug? Uh, it's gonna be tough, man. It doesn't even have a headstock. To help out with this, I have a PV Viper X right there. It's a it's a solid metal uh, combo amplifier, you know? So I'm certain we'll get something to chug today, okay? So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Will it chug? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm twisting and turning on something right here. <laughs> That was the pre-game, by the way. That is pretty metal, you can even see it right here. So we're getting close. Okay, let me see if I can find something else. It chugs, look at that. The sewer pickup sounds pretty good. It chugs, baby. Okay, that sounds good, man. It sounds good. Okay, let's. I'm gonna try and tune this. Very nice, man. The tuning pegs are a lot better than they were before. You know, tuning on the bridge here is actually a lot easier than I remember.
did it, Shog! Absolutely, it did, Shog. <laughs> it did, Shog. <laughs> You know. So there's a couple of things I really like about a Strandberg guitar. Well, first of all, I think this is probably the best looking headless guitar out there. No doubt about it. I think that everyone else that has been kind of aping off the trend of doing headless has done a terrible job <laughs> if you compare to Strandberg. This is a really good looking guitar shape right there. This makes sense. A lot of other headless uh, guitars, they don't make any sense in my opinion. They look looks like, you know, something is missing usually, but with this, I think it looks absolutely stunning. Also, the end your neck just makes a lot of sense. It, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but how the, you know, the shape kind of follows. You know, it makes a lot of sense when you're going from playing down here, riffing out up, and it kind of follows and positions your thumb in a really good way when you're up for doing leads, you know. So that is a really cool innovation that uh, I must really congratulate Ola Strandberg for. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Even though it is a really nice playing guitar, it's made in Indonesia, it is slightly expensive. But Ola is really trying to create something unique with his guitars and uh, you know you're buying the technology you're buying the, uh, the 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 package basically it's much like apple you know where you may might you know pay a little extra but you get a complete package so it's 2500 euros to get i guess the real question is like if you would compare this to a ibanez quest for instance that uh, is around like a thousand euros you know would this be worth it that's up for you to decide but i think this is the headless guitar you know, this is the one you should get if you should get a headless guitar. It's the Strandberg, man. It's the Strandberg. This is the innovator of headless guitars right there. So, there you go. That's Will It Chug for you right there. Did it chug? Yes, it did. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Hiya! Thank you.